hello everyone welcome to the english devotional from soldiers of the cross let's begin in prayer heavenly father i come before your holy presence thanking you for this beautiful day that you have given us thank you for these moments that we can spend with you in a daily devotional thank you for all that you have in store for us thank you for teaching us and guiding us thank you father god that your holy spirit never leaves us alone but is always looking for ways to teach us to direct us to comfort us thank you father god for your endless love for your mercy that is new every morning thank you father for the grace that you have bestowed upon us lord i ask that you will be with this devotional today teach us guide us direct us lord in jesus name amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever amen today's devotional is titled jesus is passing by it was written by jacqueline gaitan and translated by maria elena cardona is taken from the book Mesa de Fe, page 104, and is presented to you by your sister Lisa Hernandez. Our biblical base comes from Luke chapter 10, verses 38 through 42. So says the word of God. Now, as they were traveling along, he entered a village, and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister called Mary, who was seated at the Lord's feet, listening to his word. But Martha was distracted with all her preparations, and she came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the serving alone? Then tell her to help me. But the Lord answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and bothered about so many things, but only one thing is necessary, for Mary has chosen the good part, which shall not be taken away from her amen may we be blessed by the reading of the scripture this morning jesus is passing by your house when he arrives how will he find you busy asleep or at his feet like mary who chose the best part which will not be taken from her take advantage of this opportunity and allow the arrival of jesus to be a blessing in your life May he not leave sad because of your behavior, and may you not be left empty by not paying attention to his arrival. Every day is a great opportunity to have an encounter with your Savior, that today you can count each of the blessings that have come into your life since you accepted him in your heart, and you can be attentive to his arrival. Like Zacchaeus, strive to receive his blessing May your attitude motivate Jesus to come to your house, and may he stay forever. That is the desire of Jesus to be part of your life, but you decide if you let him in. Remember that Jesus is the giver of life. Bow at his feet and receive his sweet advice, which will be a great blessing to you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, each day, we have an invitation to sit at Jesus' feet, to take his presence into our lives, to take in the sweetness of his presence in our lives. My brothers and sisters, today, may you decide to spend time with Jesus one-on-one. -on -one. May you decide, make that decision for yourself to listen to his calling, to receive that blessing that he is trying to give you. Jesus is the giver of life. Sit in his word, sit in his presence, meditate on him, and he will bless you. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. And now, my brothers and sisters, I invite you once again to check out our YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry or Soldados de la Cruz for our daily Bible reading as we journey through the entire Bible in one year together. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, 
the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children, now and forever. Amen.